If you are using Project Broadcast to generate leads or prospects or grow your text list from social media or in-person events, you are going to love our contact link feature, which is going to gather a little bit of information from people who are joining your list. And you can use the contact link anywhere you craft a message in Project Broadcast. So we're talking chat, broadcasts, templates, keyword auto replies, I think I'm forgetting something, but it's not coming to me right now. And oh, campaign messages as well. I'm going to show you how to use a contact link in a keyword auto reply today. So let's pretend that I am sharing a take back your time challenge or freebie on social media. And what I'm asking people to do is text in the word time to me at my project broadcast number. When they text this word into me, they're going to get a reply message here. And it just says, hi, thanks for your interest in this thing I'm sharing. Please click the link below to let me know who I'm chatting with and your freebie will be on its way. So the important part of this message that is going to collect their information for you so you don't just have their phone number is this contact link in these curly brackets right here. I'm going to show you from scratch how to set this up. So when you create your keyword, you're going to see a message box like this. You're going to have your message say whatever you want it is uh, you want it to say. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the contact link so I can show you how I added it. So if you tap the plus and then dynamic fields, you will see under the contact tab that contact link is one of those options. And I'm just going to go ahead and insert that there and save. So now I have my message with a contact link and some language surrounding the contact link that lets them know what they're clicking on, right? So let's go ahead and test this out so you can see what it will look like to your customers. I'm going to go ahead and text the keyword for my phone. Let's hop on over to chat and take a look. So if I refresh here, I'm gonna see that I have a new message from a just a phone number here. And when I click into the chat history, I see that they sent me in my keyword time. They got back an auto reply that says exactly what the auto reply is set up to say with this very special link in here now. So now you're seeing that on their end, they do not see contact link in curly brackets. That is just within the project broadcast system. Once a message sends to somebody, they get a unique link created just for them. This link is only meant for this phone number. And the special part about that is when they click on it and they answer just a few basic questions, this is what a contact link does. They can go ahead and put in their first and last name. None of these fields are required. If they were required, they would have an asterisk. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose some random date here for my birthday. And once they submit that form, you are going to see in Project Broadcast that you have an update here. So if I update my chats, you will see a message from Project Broadcast Support letting you know that this person has contacted you and updated their contact information. And you'll also see that their information has been updated. So you'll see Don Bar. And if you click into their contact information, you're also going to see that their birthday has been updated. So contact link is a super great tool to collect a tiny bit of information about contacts that are just joining your list so that you have their first name, last name, birthday, for example, so you can start personalizing messages to them. I hope this tip helps. Thanks for learning with me.